I feel like, I don't know, we'll just keep it that way. Different kind of lighting, I guess, for tonight. Um, if you enjoy this, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. It is another in the movie series. But we're technically not doing movies tonight. Today, in this video, we are doing TV shows. Or just shows. Oh, there's Nico. Are you gonna help? Are you gonna be a helper today? He's always a helper. He's always a very good helper, aren't you? Yes, you are. Very good helper. Uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. Those YouTube things helps me out a lot. Now let's not immediately start chewing on our feet and our body parts. Let's do that outside of the video, okay? Do that on your, your own time, bud. On your own time. But yes, okay, all right, so um, I think that was the whole intro. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different shows that we're gonna talk about that I think that are good, that I, second I start talking, he starts chewing on himself again. What? You, come here. Just, just chill. Just relax. I know I love you. Those are my movies. The DVDs. Okay, so I guess we could do like a here. Let's zoom in a little bit. A little bit of backstory on, I'm sure I've talked about it before, why I have so many DVDs and movies. Back before there was Netflix, Hulu, Disney, Amazon Prime, um, Tubi, Showtime, Paramount Plus, all these things. <laughs> there was just um, basic cable and paid channels. And then also you could buy DVDs. I bought my DVDs on Amazon and eBay. I would Google a show, read about it. If I thought I would like it, then I would buy. I would just randomly buy season one on wherever, wherever I could buy it. And if I liked it, I bought more. And if I didn't, I would not buy any more. Most of the time, I liked them. So, yeah, I don't know how any of these started. Well, okay, let's just... <clears throat> we'll start with True Blood. This is one of the ones that was a random... I have a cord below me. I have my charging cord for my PlayStation controller. Right up below my forehead. I'll move that. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this was one of the random buys. Maybe. Here, let's... Sorry. Sorry. Let's go down a bit and zoom in. Oh, that's as far as it zooms. So we're just gonna go right here. This... Okay, this is an adult show. It's an HBO show. There's lots of sex in this show. So if you're not into that, don't watch True Blood. I'm not even kidding. Don't... Don't with the girlfriend. The girlfriend has texted me. Sorry, one sec. It sounded like he was getting into a bag of chips. Nico. We're gonna have to listen for him over film. <laughs> what is he doing? He said he has this new thing that all puppies have, or young teenage dogs. You give them a toy, like a dog toy, like a stuffed animal toy thing, and they, they shred it, and they rip out the squeaky, and they make a mess. It's I think it's just like a dog thing to do. Some people don't let their pets do it, and they take them away, the toys. I don't care. He can have fun. He's been doing that the past, like, two days with his toys. What ends up happening is... I let him keep the carcass, <laughs> the like skin of the animal, and I throw all the fluff away and he still plays with them. But I think that's what he's doing right now. He's shredding another, maybe he's, he's, he's probably finishing shredding his turkey. He has like a turkey one. Anyways, true blood, lots of sex, um, lots of violence. It's honestly a really solid show. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how many seasons are in any of these shows, so, except for one. One's really easy. You'll know why when we get there. But, um, yeah, there's, what? Why was the DVD just shoved in here? <laughs> that just popped out. That's not how that works. So we're gonna put this back. It's for the, oh, okay. I guess it goes there. You know what, I bet this is where Katie and I, because Katie and I watch
watched Trooper of Blood for a little bit and then we just stopped. I bet this is the disc where we stopped. So I'm gonna put this one backwards. So if we ever go back to what we know. There's like a thing in here. Oh, it's the thing they put on the back, probably. Probably like right there. And then I saved it. So I'll just put that in there. But it's about vampires. And as you further get into the show, it's about other like werewolves and other stuff as well. It sounds, it might sound, it sounds kind of basic, but it's not. It's, it's just a really, really good show. It's very addicting, very, very addicting. And how many discs do we have here? We have five in this one. Five, I know you can't see them all, I apologize. Apparently there's a lot of bonus features. I've never watched any of the bonus stuff. I'm probably, any of these DVDs. Now, you can watch this show on HBO. Wait, what's it called? It's called Max now. We also have that. Max. It was HBO, then HBO Plus, and then something else. Or I don't know. It's Max now. So you don't have to buy the DVDs. I always talk about how one day I'm just going to start selling my DVDs because I have literally hundreds of them. Shows and movies. But then again, what if something happens and I don't have internet? I don't have access to internet. I'll, I'll have all of these to watch. I mean, you know what? I should have grabbed season one of all the shows that I'm doing here because I can't really read the premise on the back because I feel like that'll be spoilers for people that haven't watched season one or two. So never mind. But anyways, this show, it's, uh, it's rated mature. It doesn't say why. This is from 2011. That was a long time ago. So yeah, I highly recommend this show. I'm probably gonna highly recommend all these. Yeah, I'm gonna highly recommend all these. So True Blood, season three. Simpsons. This show is very nostalgic for me. Back when it started, I don't know the year, my dad and sister and I would watch it on TV every every time I was on. Um, excuse me. And then I slowly started buying the DVDs when I got old enough. And then I just stopped watching, which is kind of sad. I... Sorry, that scared me. I don't know why that went off. That was my alarm for some reason. Okay, anyways. It's kind of sad to think that I've stopped. And I, I just, I guess I kind of just grew out of the Simpsons. But I think one day I will go back and watch all of them. But this, the really cool thing behind this season is it has all the characters and it's different on each side. It's like literally all of them. Is this like a legitimate box? <laughs> it is. It's an actual, just like... I guarantee you I've never watched <clears throat> these DVDs. That's really cool. I like how that looks. I wonder if this is like a collector's item. Probably not. Probably not. But, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the... But look at this. I was wrong. This is all of the characters in the whole show. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I found Bart. Bart's right in the middle. Where's... I'm trying to find somebody else that's in the family. There's, oh. Oh, I was gonna say, I found Marge. There's multiple versions of some characters. There's like a, an old school Marge. There's like a cat Marge. Um, where's the actual Marge? Oh, there's Homer. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, there's a booklet in here. Let's see what's in the booklet.
seven different seasons, or there's seven discs in each set. That's weird. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, bonus features, blah, blah, okay. This show is very, very good at the beginning, but then when it starts to get towards the end, like, I don't know how many seasons there are in this. I have totally forget. But once it starts to get towards the end, it gets a little convoluted, and I don't know, it kind of strays from its, from, I don't know. It just wasn't as good towards the end as it was at the beginning. But it's still worth watching. I think this is another one Katie and I started and then we never finished. This, I think, was like a basic cable show. I forget what channel, though.
of pickup lines, one night stands, and relationship deal breakers. Okay, I can't read anymore. I can't read anymore. That would be spoilers if you haven't watched this show. You should, though, if you haven't. Definitely watch it. Some of these shows, like Lost and uh, Mad Men and True Blood, actually, you kind of have to watch all the episodes in order or you'll get really confused and not know what's going on. This show isn't as much like that. You can watch them out of order or any season in what order. You'll still be entertained and you won't really be confused that much. But it's... Excuse me. But it's better to watch them in order. All right, let's see how these are put together. So we have... show and I think I well when I bought these how did I buy these I forget I think I might have bought a season at a time and then I would watch it but this one I think I bought all of them at once and I just like blew through them so this is disc one episodes one through eight and this show is like a half an hour show on television so they're only like 23 minutes per episode so that's why there's not as many DVDs. So there are, on this disc, two, four, six, eight episodes. Oh, one through eight, duh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and then there's some commentary on there. Nothing crazy. And this has two discs, episodes nine through 22. So there's 22. 22 episodes in the whole season. But yeah, this is a very fun, very fun show. Yeah, I don't think I could ever sell them all of these. It's just, if I ever just want to watch them all, I know I could go on a network and watch them, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm keeping up. I'm keeping up. Breaking Bad. And I didn't grab... Okay. I didn't grab any of these. As in, they're my favorites. I just grabbed the ones that are easy, the easily accessible in my TV stand. Because some shows I have, they're like buried in the back. And I couldn't get to them. So I, these are just the ones that were up front. So Breaking Bad, this is probably the most popular show. I would say of maybe The Simpsons. The Simpsons might be more popular. I don't know. This is prop. I don't know. I feel like this would be. And this one should be the most popular. This is. Yeah, this is my favorite of all the ones I'm going to show you today. So this is the second season. I definitely could not read all of this back here. I could read some of it. But I can't read all of it. This came out in 2010. Not rated. Where did this, was this on basic cable or was this on a, like a, a paid station? I don't know. I think this was on basic cable. See, I bought this used. There's a sticker. It says used like new. Season two. <clears throat> so it says Walt and Jesse are in way over there. It's in Breaking Bad. Season two. <laughs> As their partnership reaches new heights. Okay, I can't read. Okay, never mind. I can't read. <laughs> I'm not reading this. There's spoilers right there from season one. Sorry, I can't do it. Oh, I forgot. On the back of these DVDs, I think it usually says how many like minutes is in the whole thing. Let me go, go back through. <laughs> this is 521 minutes. Lost 1,068 minutes That is a lot 616 minutes for Mad Men It's not going to be on here I'm not going to pull that thing apart again So sorry, I'm not doing that one Then this one we'll have to pull the paper out for Seven hundred and twenty minutes on True Blood. Okay, and Breaking Bad. 
2009 Emmy Award winner, Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, Brian Cranston. Because it's true. Okay, this is similar to the How I Met Your Mother. You'd think they would do them in like a, a better setup. They probably have better setups out for them now, but this is what came out first, so that's what I bought. So we have episodes one through seven plus bonus features. Says the best series on TV. So, okay, so what's on TV? That answers that. Two discs. There's a letter from the producers, 
questions. How long? Why did it take so long? Okay, let's read this. Because I was curious as to why it took so long. Why did it take so long for the DVD to come out? That's a good question. There is a lot of fantastic music in the show. Probably more music than the show has ever dared to use. In order to release this package, we had to ask every artist's permission to use their music. Negotiate a price. Find a dispute. Distributor. For the... Okay. Yeah, good thing I'm almost done because Katie keeps texting me. Okay, so it's pretty much about the music. Okay, anyways. It's just like, there's like a description and all kinds of stuff. Oh, that's really cool. It shows what songs are in every episode. It's from the 80s, so there's a lot of really cool, good music in this, in this series. That's cool. That's really neat. Alright, sorry, I didn't really... If you want to know what's in here, buy it. It's worth buying. Trust me. Trust me. I promise you it's worth it. But yeah, that is... That is all of the shows I have for this one. This episode, I'm not sure what number it is. I won't know until I get this thing edited. But yeah. It was fun doing TV shows. I've never done a TV show episode in this series. This is where I say goodbye. I'll see you soon though. I upload every Thursday and Sunday, so I'll see you in a few days. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. All those fun YouTube things. Take care of yourselves. Take